Hello guys, this is Zura and today I'm going to show you all possible ways to use import and export keywords in ESX modules. There are two different types of export, named and default. You can have multiple named exports per module, but only one default export. Let's see it in action. I have this file where I have different versions of export default something. Uh, when you export something as a default, it can be function, class, variable, or it can be even expression. You can have named function or unnamed anonymous function when you export as a default. The same is for class. You can give a name here or, or not. Let me uncomment the first statement and import this in my app.js. Import. When you want to import something which was exported as a default, you can give it uh, the name whatever you want. I can call it, for example, uh, uppercase A from export default. And let me print this A. Here it is. It's a function without name. Let's, let's export second statement, which has name. It's a function with name foo. Now let's see what happens when we have two default exports. We have problem because it, it's not possible actually to have two default exports. Only one default export is available and it's possible. Uh, you can have a lot of named exports, which we'll of course uh, discuss in a few seconds, um, but not uh, multiple default exports. So let's comment the second statement. Now we see that it's a function, it's an ES6 class actually, which is a function with this uh, call class check. Um, the same happens for named class. Function bar, not function underscore default. Okay, it's clear. So when we export uh, constant, it will be 3.14. When we print it, we can export statement also. And it's four. Um, and there is another way to export something as a default. You can have multiple variables uh, declared at the top uh, or even at the bottom and you can export them, export the variable as a default. So now I'm exporting pi as a default or I can export, for example, if I have this function, if I'm not exporting this function and I have a function, let's call it foo again, and I can do export, oops, export foo as a default. And now this is printed. So when you export something as a default, it can be function, it can be class, or it can be variable. It can be basically any type of uh, variable, uh, primit either primitive type or uh, object type. So the name A here, of course, is not relevant, but as far as you know what is the default export from the file, you can call it whatever you want. For example, if I'm exporting foo from here, I can call this function foo, and I need to print foo, which is more relevant. And this function foo can even be declared um, after something is after it is exported, and it works fine. Let's move on and uh, let me show you the example of named exports. When we export something uh, with a named export syntax, we need to give it a name. And we need to import this with the same name in another file. Uh, basically, there are also two different uh, ways to export something with a name. Uh, you can 
call these exports in front of whatever you want export and you can repeat these export keyword multiple times or you can have just normal functions classes variables and export all them all together uh, like this um, with named exports you can have also something to be exported as a default but as i mentioned before only one thing can be exported as a default okay let's first see what uh, result does this give us okay let me delete this and import something from named export and now here i need to use the same names i used for exporting for export here i'm exporting foo bar pi and person so if i try to use something else here it will give me an error foo for example and let's print this foo Let me import everything from the uh, from this named exports JS file. Um, full bar pi and person, and let's print all of them. Let me do this on a separate line. Bar pi person. Now, as we can see on the right side, uh, each line corresponds to each print and all of them are fine. Additionally, from this named exports file, we are exporting something as a default. Along with named exports, you can import something uh, default in the following way. You, again, you can give the name whatever you want when you import something which is exported as a default. So let's call it default export, comma, and then the rest of the named imports. And I can print also this default export. And it is person. Uh, and it is, yeah, it, it's an object, sorry. It's an object which has name John. The, the export actually is possible to be um, at the top or at the bottom. It uh, really doesn't matter. Now let's see the uh, second way of exporting uh, multiple variables with, with named export. Okay, let me comment this and uncomment this. So we have separate statements for each export, which is also fine. And we have the same output, so export function foo export class bar, and so on. So um, the name here is mandatory. So if I delete this full, uh, it gives me an error and I, I cannot export something without name because I try to use named export syntax without default keyword here, but I don't give name here, which is, which is not allowed. So if I write export default here, I have another error because I'm exporting uh, two things as a default. When you, ex when you export something uh, like uh, multiple things altogether, let me comment this also, you can actually uh, export it with a different name. So here, for example, uh, the function name is foo, but when, when I am exporting it, I can give it a different name. For example, as uh, foo function and when i import this in my app.js i need to import it with a full uh, function and here i have a warning that export full was not found in named export and here on the line 8 i get undefined so i need to use here who function also this is really convenient way when uh, let me fix this uh, this is a really convenient way when you uh, have a large names in your file. For example, if this is a really long, a long name of the variable and you can export it with a much shorter and much convenient name. In ES6, there is a way to create a module which is a redirect module of, of another module. 
and uh, you can actually export something from another file. For example, in export from import file, I can do this. I can export something from named export file. So in this case, I'm exporting default. In named export, the default is this uh, object which has name John. And I'm exporting this default um, here in this, in this file. So in app.js, let me, let me delete this. In app.js, I can import this default. As far as I'm exporting only default from this export from import file, I can call it whatever I want. Again, default export. And I can, I can print it. I have a typo in the file name, maybe. And here it is, the object which has name John, which is the default export from the named export file. Additionally, in my uh, third file, I can additionally export other, other imports also, which is, which is named, exp uh, named exports. For example, I can export full function and bar. So now, here, in my app.js, I can use them let me collapse this. I can use them like normal named exports. Uh, full function and bar. Uh, I need to save this file. And here they are. Also, when I'm exporting something from another file, I can here also give it a name. Uh, even for, for default. Export default is uh, default export, for example. And now, now here on line two, it prints undefined because now default export is not, uh, nothing is actually exported as a default from this third file. Everything is named export, even this. So here I need to put this inside um, my brackets and here is my default export um, as it is for the export and you can use this as syntax you can use this as syntax when you import also for example the default export i can um, import as uh, just uh, d export for example and i can use it like d export here or this full function, I can import as just full. And I can use this full here. In this file, actually, I can export everything also from this named export. So if I print here export asterisk from named export, this will export everything uh, from the named export. Here I have a warning because default export uh, is not. So I can use this preview syntax. So when you, when you do uh, export asterisk from named export, actually this doesn't export default. So by this approach, you can actually access all your named export variables in your braces, but not default export. If you want to export also default, you need to uh, write separate statement for this. Export default from named export and then export everything uh, from named export. And this works fine. And additionally, you can uh, import also everything in this file. You can write here asterisk also, but you need to give here name. Otherwise, you can't just access and it's, it's invalid. So uh, import everything as, for example, named imports. And now this named exports is an object which has reference to every named, um, named uh, variable. Let's print these named imports and which is a module, it's an object, 
and it has bar pi uh, default also and full function and you can use them just like normal normal object methods uh, bar is a class uh, pi is a constant that's it if you want to import the default in a separate variable and not the part of the import uh, named imports you can do in the following way default uh, export and everything as named imports now when we print named imports and default export we can see that named imports still have this default but we have this default uh, which is which is this uh, object with name join that's all for now i tried to explain all different ways how you can export and import uh, files modules in your project uh, now you can use this syntax in any environment you want um, if, if i helped you a little bit please let me know about this uh, hit on the like and subscribe buttons and provide a nice comment thanks again see you in the next time